Hey, this is Kate Stellan with yogahealer.com and I'm here with Gracie of selfcarewithgracie.com. Gracie Obahovich. Did I say it right? Yes, perfect. Well done. And uh, Gracie's been in the yoga health coaching program and led a few large groups through the 10-week yoga health coaching process. And we have a group coming up with Gracie that's, uh, that's Body Thrive. So if you go to yogahealer.com forward slash body thrive, you can, you can check it out. And it's really for, you know, anyone who's just realizing that they want support to have a wellness breakthrough. And that's all we do. And we do it in 10 weeks. So we were just talking, Gracie and I, and I was asking her, like, what is totally lighting, what's lighting you up, Gracie, about the, you know, just the people you've been working with in the coaching groups? Well, I, I mean, continually, every time I go through the habits, like I, I learned so much. I learned from the habits themselves and reading the, the Ayurvedic books. And I also learned from my students and the way that they start to interpret the habits and from their lived experience of it. And in, um, in Body Thrive, we start with earlier, lighter dinners. And it's, it's amazing because I feel like for myself, like no matter how many times I kind of just feel like I've gotten a little bit off track. Like if I just go back to eating that earlier, lighter dinner, which is incredibly simple and sometimes hard to make it work in this modern world that, um, that I just feel like right away I get back into the rhythm of going to bed earlier and waking up, having more energy, just getting my, my exercise done in the morning. And so it's, it's inspiring for me to share this. And I've, I just did a, a mid session report or survey with my 20 people that are going through my class. And I found out that uh, one person's lost 10 pounds in, in like the the less than six weeks we've been working together. And she said it was all earlier, later dinners for her and somebody else seven pounds. And and both of them said that they weren't trying to lose weight at all. And it, it was totally my experience. Like I've lost like 25 pounds, like starting to live more Ayurvedically without, without trying to lose weight. It's just like, I think that um, just really learning to respect Agni, um, really learning to respect our digestion is it's profound how deep that that shift can go. So I I love um, starting there. And then everything else is just sort of like icing on on the, the vegan gluten free cupcake, you know, of like, just really being able to like, <laughs> enjoy it all. But I, and more than that, just seeing like my my students really like start to shine, their eyes get brighter, they get more relaxed. Everyone's reporting that their like anxiety has been going down and their um their anger has been been really like smoothed out all my pizzas in my group so i'm really just passionate about sharing the basics and just you know really supporting um a group of people who want to move through that together and then um learning from you all as well mm. yeah it's so interesting that you know i mean it's it's such a co-creative process right like what happens and what a group needs and what the individuals show up like really wanting uh when when i you know, when this course kind of, this course was the whole Body Thrive course, you guys, and the Body Thrive book, which will be coming out later this year, is for me, it was just all about like, oh my gosh, this is what all my Ayurvedic clients, this is what they need. And these are all the habits that they, they may know about, and they might know they should have, you know, like they get it, but they don't have them. Like, and they just, they just aren't there. And I, honestly, most most of the yoga health coaches, when they come into the program and go through Body Thrive, they, they have a massive health evolution. To Actually, we've had everyone has, has basically admitted that they've had a health evolution just through going through through the 10 habits. And like, why is earlier, lighter dinners first? Right? And, and the yoga health coaches, the original group, like really fought me on it. They're like, oh, we want to start with meditation or we want to start with, you know, self-massage or another practice that's part of the 10 habits that's been just totally amazing. So why after, you know, me working with people with Ayurvedic habits and upgrading for, not for the sake of having Ayurvedic habits at all, but for the sake of experience, vibrant health and having a wellness breakthrough, which they were coming to me for, whether it was because of PMS driving them insane or infertility or the migraines that won't go away or like whatever the issues. And like, why do we have to respect Agni? Why do we have to respect our digestion and the power of turning the outer ecosystem into our inner physiology. Why do we need to respect that? And why do we have to eat in earlier, lighter dinner to, to really respect that? And then when we do, and we really feel that why, not from this theoretical, mental, cognitive place, but just from like, oh, weight falls off, <laughs> right? Like, yeah. Right? And it's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. 
Well, more than that, it's like, it's like, uh, I mean, so many women in our society, we're so obsessed with our weight and we keep thinking, you know, what would be, you know, I always like, what would be possible if you didn't spend all that energy obsessing about your weight? Like, like I could have learned like multiple languages already if I hadn't put that energy there. And so it's like, <laughs> I would, I'd be really good at playing the guitar. I don't play the guitar now, you know, like it's, it's amazing of like where all that energy can go when it, we're not obsessed with, with the weight anymore. And it's just like getting ourselves in the cycle where I, I just don't feel like I'll have to worry about my weight again. Like, it's just like, if I keep going back, if I know this habit earlier or later dinners and I mean, knowing the habit and being able to practice it are two different things. And I think that's what the body thrive curriculum is all about is really just Un feeling the the community of practice around it because it's it's hard in our society to do it and unless we like are re reminded again and again and again about it it's really it's hard but then the potential once we are supported in in that that habit change and I mean I, I think that we're it's it's endless like what we're capable of as women in our culture um if if we're not so tied down by trying to lose that 10 pounds so I I see right. like that and like the, the the karma and the dharma of it all too yeah, and it's and it's to me it really speaks to of like when we really learn when we learn the ha it's to me it's like the they're the ha body thrive is the habits of cooperation with our physiology where we just start to cooperate instead of you know doing whatever we've been raised to do or whatever pattern we're in and whatever whenever when we when we really get to just focus on oh these are these are just simply the habits of cooperating with nature because I'm part of nature I get to cooperate with my nature I get to cooperate with inner nature I get to cooperate with like the big N of nature the big B of being and in that I experience flow I experience more ease less stress I experience more really control right over my emotional experience over my even my mental experience like when people have less anxiety you actually have more control over your you know what you feel right because then you know if you simply eat a late heavy dinner you know if if you know that you experience less anxiety from eating an earlier later dinner then you know if you choose to eat a heavier later dinner you know you're choosing to experience some more anxiety right it's like it starts to become so tangibly experiential the kind of wow how much we can design and optimize our experience so i just want to say um thanks for this quick visit gracie and if people want to apply to be in the next in the next body thrive group it's going to be with gracie you'll also get lessons uh recorded every week from me but you'll be live with gracie and coach through the process of the 10 habits in your body with this incredibly inspirational and gifted teacher so thanks gracie i'm glad I'm glad to see where you go with the next posse. Thanks, Kate. I'm really excited to see.